Hi, happy Friday. Welcome to Island Girl Tarot and welcome to your weekend tarot forecast. I hope everybody's having a great, great week and uh, is looking forward. Um, we do have our <clears throat> first new moon of the new year on the 27th. So I hope everybody sets their intentions and uh, releases things that don't serve them any longer. And that's always allowing <clears throat> new and wonderful things to come in when you release the negative. So, with that said, I'm going to get right to it for our Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Well, okay. Friday's card is. The Ten of Swords. So that pretty much sums up a Friday, doesn't it? No, let's just be done with it. Uh, to me, the Ten of Swords speaks to perhaps being stabbed in the back. I traditionally look at it, if you're having an issue in your life and this card comes up, it's probably not going to get any worse than it is right now. I mean, this is, you know, there's the dawning here underneath in this deck the you know the swords are not physically touching him in some de decks he's all the way through and bleeding and so on and so forth um but i i just really feel like if there has been something going on you know in your life either personal or work wise that it's been irritating you it should be uh at, at the point where it's about done with it's a situation that's going to be put to, to rest now the card for Saturday is the Six of Cups, and of course this is such a pretty card, and it's, it represents nostalgia, it, repre it represents happiness, it represents, um, you know, a childlike state, the inner child. Um, now, it can be um, a situation where you're seeing someone from your past, or, you know, and I mean childhood past, somebody that you went to school with, you may be reconnecting with them on social media, that kind of thing. And uh, the other thing is, if that's the case, because Sunday is the uh, Knight of Wands, and Mr. Knight of Wands can be our, um, he's our sexual energy knight, or at least he's mine. And, you know, it could be that that you're going to meet up with somebody that, that you know, maybe you used to date in high school and you guys might decide to rekindle a relationship or what have you. Uh, but the Knight of Wands also represents, you know, it's the creative thought idea, the creative process. He is in action. Um, yes, oops, hang on. Uh, she, he is in action. Hang on, let me turn that off. Sorry. He is in action. And he's, he's definitely moving and, um, and he's moving at a rapid pace. Typically, even though in this one he he's he's not moving too fast, but at least he is moving forward. Um, and it can have something to do with an idea. Perhaps there's been something that you've been dealing with again, either in your personal life or work life that you're wanting to implement, and now the idea has come. Taking the three cards together, um, you know, it could be just very simply you might you might have had. Um, somebody in your past that you have not spoken with in a long time, and I can't ever do this right, y'all, I'm sorry, um, that you haven't spoken with in a while and maybe even thought the relationship was over, you know, that there was no chance for a resurrection of this relationship, and obviously there is. So if there's somebody in your, in your past that you've been thinking about or want to get in touch with, then I would definitely... Um, you know, shoot that private message on Facebook, so on and so forth, because you never know what can happen. Um, again, the three of them together can be a creative idea. You could be going to work with somebody that uh, you used to know, you know, again, that you used to work with at a previous job, that type of thing. And I always tell people, you know, if you're looking for a job, don't just stop at your last, you know, two or three employers and folks. Go way back. Find out what everybody's doing from 20 years ago if you're old enough. Um, so I hope that has some insight for some of you all. I hope it resonates. If it does, by all means, please uh, leave me some feedback. I so enjoy hearing from you all. And again, um, you can reach me, islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. Please follow me on Facebook. I will be doing a live draw tomorrow morning, uh, hopefully out here if it's not storming, but I'm not sure. 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. 
and I hope everybody has a great weekend. Bye-bye. Take care.